If only I didn't wake up. Rahul, everything in this file is bullshit. You understand that? Reema, come here with your laptop. Yes, sir. This is ridiculous. This level of incompetency cannot be tolerated. He is such a crucial client and no one was there to outsource his server needs last night. Uh, yes, I completely get it, sir. Just give me a minute and I'll check whose job it was. Well, sir, looks like it was. Ah, him again. I really need to ruffle him up this time. It's high time he starts taking control of his work and it's a high time that he starts owning up to it. Okay, you get back to work. So, weren't you supposed to sit with Andrew last night and sort out the outsourcing of his database server? Not that I can recall sir, if I remember correctly, his outsourcing shouldn't have caused a problem if Rahul ran cloud through PyTPNet. Yes, Rahul did run that test, but it still ran into bug fixes. And to resolve that issue, you were asked to outsource the database and the server. Is it? Um, I'm really sorry sir, I had no idea. I don't re remember receiving a memo. I think Rahul must have forgot it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop blaming everything on Rahul. You got to start owning up to your mistakes. And how many mistakes do you make, huh? Last week your code was so faulty that it deleted a major chunk of our data from our cloud. Thankfully, through some quick man maneuvering, we were able to recover that data. I understand it, sir. But it was also me who worked to recover that data. Yes, it was. And that is the only reason why you're still here. You are on very thin ice, remember that. Last week, because of you, customers could have lost their data and now last night. I'm really sorry sir, it won't, uh, it just won't happen. You are running out of sorries and excuses now. Andrew's firm is one of our biggest clients. So I don't care if you have to wake up at 5 in the morning, I don't care if you have to stay till 3 in the morning. Do you understand what I just said? Your complacency regarding your job is becoming a headache for me now. Tell me what do you want to do? Look at me while I'm talking to you. Don't make me feel like an idiot who is just rambling on at the wall. Hey, look here, I am talking to you. Tell me what do you want to do? How do we move forward? What exactly do you want to do? Sorry, Rahul. I hope this doesn't hurt much. Start taking this seriously and consider this your final warning. This is what I want to do. This is what I should do. But geez, I, I don't got the guts to do that. I don't even got the courage to do that. Even if I had the courage, I don't have the equipment. 
and that's why I need a gun. If I had owned a gun, all the problems in my life would have ceased to exist. You might be wondering what problems would an engineer working in an MNC would face, but I've got my fair share of problems. Yeah. And trust me, being an engineer is the ugliest, the fattest, and the most brutal problems that I face. I'm I'm pretty glad I bobbed out. Or I thought I'm glad until I realized what a shitty world we reside in. There's no there's no humanity left in this world, isn't it? But you see, I'm I'm glad that I popped out. But you know, life could have been a little better. I hear people say that uh, they don't remember much of their early life on this miserable planet. Hell, <laughs> that implies to me too. Hell, that implies to majority of us, isn't it? I don't remember much. But I do remember a handful of it. Just enough to narrate it. My son will be an engineer. I wish things would have rolled out that way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my parents, but you know, at that moment of time, I didn't even know them. And it wouldn't have made much of a difference, apart from the fact that I would have been an orphan. I really, really wish someone had a gun and was sensible enough to shoot it then my life would have been really different. And it can be a whole lot different if only I had a gun.